So I've been running out of video ideas lately. And I'll be switching to PC soon, so the quality and production of my content will increase. But for the time being, until December, I'm still on console. So I've been thinking I need to be honest with my viewers and provide them with insight on how I improve in my daily Apex sessions. In my most recent clips that I use in my videos, you can see me running the Peacekeeper. The Peacekeeper is a weapon I personally struggle with ever since I started playing. I picked up the gun a few times since I started playing, missed a couple shots and decided that I'm never going to pick it up again. But if you didn't know, I watch a lot of Apex Pro League. I see controller players always running a Peacekeeper as their secondary. Why? Because there is no other gun that can push out as much damage close range as the Peacekeeper. But it's a pop action shotgun. So you can just pray, so you can't just pray and pray like SMG. So you have to be true with your aim. So ever since then I've started picking up the peacekeeper a lot more over my preferred loader, which is a volt, slash car, and a flatline. I more so switched to running double close range weapons more this season to improve on my aim with shotguns and I have seen improvement over time. So the first lesson is to focus on your weak punch. No matter how uncomfortable it may feel as with anything in your life, you have to make you with uncomfortable situations or to do or to do things out of your comfort zone to improve your ability to improve your ability to do that skill and the same works for Apex. Whether you want to believe it or not, you have to try and master your weak points so that you can improve at the game. Whether you're a casual gamer trying to improve or a well seasoned Apex player, I know for a fact that you have a weak point in your game and that's probably the thing that's holding you back from seeing consistent improvement in your games. This doesn't come down just to aim though. This can come down to movement as well. You may just struggle with trying to implement wall jumping during games instead of the firing range, even slide jumps. Yes, you know how to slide jump, but do you know how to improperly implement it in a fight to get full momentum when pushing or redirecting? The second and final tip is to train in uncomfortable areas. Most people go into the fine range and only practice from a certain range on the practice spots with their preferred loadout of choice. But how many times will you be that close to the enemy to fully utilize that practice that you are using? Sometimes you will be using an SMG from mid-range, not as you want to use that SMG from mid-range because they are best for close range engagement. But when the situation calls for it, you have to use it from medium range. What will you do then? You are going to need to practice from uncomfortable areas with guns that are suited for that specific range. If there is one thing I know how to do is to control the volt from medium to long range distances. Will I hit all my shots? No, but I will be applying pressure to the person that I'm shooting at to let them be aware of my presence. While doing that, I'll be moving up to close the gap by using slide jumps and the terrain to my advantage to hide my hitbox. There isn't much to this, but I know that for a you will be in a lot of uncomfortable situations in your day-to-day -day matches in Apex, and there is not really much that you can do other than to adapt. These are just two tips that I wanted to share with my viewer base, since that I will eventually be switching content when I get my PC I'll be posting a lot more Apex content but not really educational type I'll be posting further on content as well but mostly gameplay because I am running out of video ideas unfortunately and the final tip I'd like to give to you is to take a break taking a break from Apex can see an improvement in your skill level whether it be for a couple hours or a couple of days you might say but I need to play every day to get as good as ecstasy or someone else but the truth in fact is that you'll never be as good as them that's just the cold hard truth you have to find your own rhythm your own style of playing and you will see your own improvements on your own fruits of your own labor even taking a break from content creation like i do most of the time i will see improvements in my editing style or my creative direction so taking a break from apex and doing other things in general and taking a step back and looking at it from a different direction will give you a fresh view at whatever you're trying to do